I'm really interested to get into the squad, have a look at some of these young players that they've got here, because I'm sure there's going to be some beasts. He's a sexy, sexy player. Not in that way. I just mean he's like, look at those attributes. Hello and welcome back to FM Scout. My name is Reese, and coming up on today's video, I've been tasked with trying to find some interest and save ideas for you guys in Football Manager 2022. And I stumbled across the idea of looking at the Red Bull clubs, right? So Red Bull are an Austrian energy drink company, of course you know this. And they started getting involved in building a kind of football franchise almost. In 2005, they bought an Austrian club, and now that is known as Red Bull Salzburg, right? They've also gone into Germany, Brazil, tried their hand in Africa, and obviously the United States as well. And with a kind of focus on not overspending, but buying young, talented players and playing a kind of high press attacking philosophy i thought it was really interesting to have a little look at so we've got four clubs here which we found on football manager all are really exciting to manage so let's get straight into it and start off with salzburg and you can see here since that 2005 kind of takeover they've been doing really well in the league right winning the league 12 times and the austrian fa cup essentially eight times so let's have a little look at the squad and see what we're dealing with here in terms of players I'll sort this first team squad by ability. First up, we get Zlato Junozovic, okay? And I apologize in advance, as always, for my bad pronunciations. He's 33 years old, so he doesn't, straight away, doesn't fit really what we think of when we think Red Bull teams, because he's old, right? We think of young players and the kind of money ball approach. But what do I always say you want if you've got an old player in your team? You want him to be good at corners and free kicks, right? You want a player in your team who's good at these set pieces, and this is the guy that delivers. A centre midfielder, corners 17, free kicks 16, and decent mentally as well, aggressive, right? So decent player. Then we got the 21-year-old Omar Solet. Centre-back, tackling, marking, heading, positioning. This guy's going to be really good, actually. No caps for France yet, but really good physically. This is the kind of player you're going to be finding in these Red Bull teams, right? Young Decent technically, decent mentally, and decent physically as well. Rasmus, Crin Rasmus Christensen, a right back who's got 16 crossing, which is really cool. Work rate of 16, aggression of 18 as well. Really decent player. 14 pace, so he's no slouch. Again, no caps for Denmark, which is a bit surprising for me because this guy's pretty good. Sorting the club by potential then, and we got Armar Dedic, okay, who's currently on loan at Wolfsburg in Germany. Who's currently on loan at Wolfsberger. Tackling, marking, first touch, determination of 17. He's only 18, like this guy could be actually really good. Flair and leadership are really low, actually, which could be a concern. But again, decent physically as well. This is what we're talking about, right? Wonder kids and promising young players galore in these teams. Dribbling 14, acceleration 17, pace 16, determination 16. This guy's going to be class, I'm sure. Nicholas Seawald next. And as a defensive midfielder, he's really good. Again, right? Tackling, marking, long shots, which is always handy for someone who's playing in that position. Really good mentally, really well rounded. He's an Austrian player, so he's homegrown stamina, natural fitness as well. Pretty, pretty cool. Then we got Maximilian Wobber, or Wober. Maximilian Wober, we're going to go with. Again, a very good defensive player. This time he's a left back or a left centre back. He's got pace, he's got strength, he's got positioning, tackling, marking, and determination of 16. I really like these players in Red Bull Salzburg. In terms of finances, we've got 17 million to spend here, which is good, right? You would expect to be able to bolster this team and really kick on and build like a dynasty right winning leagues getting into the later stages of the champions league and hopefully even winning a champions league with this team at one point so in 2006 red bull and don't forget this is the austrian energy drink company essentially went out and bought a whole new york city football team called the metro stars and you can see when they took over around here in 2016 okay they had a bit of a dip to start with but then they started improving the team finishing top here in 2013 top again in 2015 
and top again in 2018 of the MLS Supporters Shield. Let's have a little look at their squad then because the New York Red Bulls, they've been through some great players, right? They've had Thierry Henry, Rafael Marquez, Tim Cahill has played for them, Bradley Wright Phillips, Tyler Adams. Did I mention Thierry Henry? Thierry Henry's played for him. We sort the team here by ability. Aaron Long comes up at the top. He's a homegrown player, a centre-back from the USA. Tackling 14, marking 14, heading 14 as well. Positioning 13. These are the stats I'll be looking for in my centre-backs. 28 years old, so he's in his prime. Acceleration and pace. Look at that, 15 and 16. That's really good. And strength of 14 as well. So Aaron Long, pretty decent. Not world-beating, but I suppose for the MLS, he's at a good standard. Then we've got Carlos Cornell, okay? And he's on loan from Red Bull Salzburg. And you will see that as a pattern. If I just go and click onto the club information and the affiliates here, all the way down the left-hand side, you will see a running theme in these clubs that they're all affiliated with each other, essentially. So you've got RB Leipzig here, RB Salzburg here as well in the left-hand side. So players can move from these clubs to where is best for their development, if that makes sense which is a really handy thing and I think unique in the world of football to have so many intercontinental teams that can link together and help your assets essentially reach maturity, being the players that you have, these young players that are going to kind of develop and then sell them on essentially for big money. This is the kind of biggest business model that Red Bull work with and it works for them. It works really well. But yeah, going back to Carlos Cornell, he's a goalkeeper, he's Brazilian and we'll talk about the Brazilian Red Bull team in a little bit. 16 throwing, 14 reflexes, 14 kicking as well. 15 aerial reach, jumping reach of 18, balance of 16, strength of 16, very good goalkeeper and look at this, positioning of 14. That's always a stat that I look for in my goalkeepers. Sorting the team then by potential and number one, comes Caden Clark, right? And he is on loan from RB Leipzig as well. Dribbling 16, 18 years old. He's an 18 year old American, <laughs> don't forget. So he's an American, but he's owned by RB Leipzig, but he's on loan back to New York. So it's crazy situation. So there's some crazy situations going on here, but dribbling 16, crossing 12, determination 16 as well. Excellent stats for a young sub. Be interesting to see if he does develop into kind of a world beater, because I'm not too sure. He's 18 years old, so he's got a chance. If he gets games, and with this network of professional teams, you can always get these players' games right. Then you've got Christian Caceres, I want to say. Apologies for my pronunciation again. You've got Andres Reyes, a centre-back, essentially. Tackling 12, marking 12, heading 12. But look at that positioning. 16 he's colombian he's got a bit of pace a bit of strength could develop quite well but at 21 years old hasn't got a lot of time on his side in terms of finances then new york red bulls two million pound in the transfer kitty interesting it would be an interesting team to manage and just look at these last two results right in the league 13th in 2020 and 12th in 2019 that's not good enough for this new york red bulls team who finished first in 2018 maybe you could be the person to come in and get them back to the top right and then maybe move to leipzig or salzburg and become like a red bull manager and become like one of these red bull managers that moves around if we look at gerhard struber okay the guy who we've just replaced from the New York job. He's done stints at Salzburg as well as their other Austrian feeder club, FC Leifring. I hope I pronounced that right. But in 2019, the Brazilian club Bragantino announced a partnership with Red Bull as well, which later turned into Red Bull changing the kits and changing their name, right, to RB Bragantino, if that's how you pronounce it. Football manager 2022 year. It looks like FM don't have the rights to kind of the Brazilian league or to this team, etc. So I wasn't quite sure that this was the actual team until I delved a little bit deeper and found out that this team, this Red Bull team finished runners up in 1991 in the Brazilian first division, which matches up here. And if you click on the affiliate links as well, you can see straight away, bang, RB Salzburg and RB Leipzig. Let's have a little look at the squad here in Brazil to see what's cracking. 
Sorted by ability and Arta comes up first, right? An attacking midfield right or left position. 23 years old. He's got dribbling at 14. He's got acceleration at 16 and pace at 15. So an old-fashioned winger, really, but with a little bit of Brazilian flair. Then we've got Lucas Evangelista. Very nice name there. 26 years old. He looks quite decent, right? Loads of double-digit figures there. 14 dribbling. 13 first touch, 14 long shots, 14 passing, 14 vision, lots of 14s and 15s, flair, off the ball decisions. This guy's actually very, very good. In terms of potential, we've got four players in this team which are looking very, very good. A 19-year-old midfield center, Praxedes. Okay, I just want to go for Praxedes. That's how I'm pronouncing it. Technique, passing, long shots, all already 14. Stamina, strength, natural fitness, balance, teamwork, off the ball, determined. I mean, I could go on. All of these are 13s and he's only 19 years old. This guy is going to be class in the future. Then we got Helinho. That's a really good name. I love these Brazilian names. Helinho, 21 years old, left footed, attacking midfielder, dribbling 14. Pace 14, agility 15, flair 14, so really good. He's getting on a bit though, 21 years old, so he needs to really start hitting those 16s for me if he's going to be a top, top player. We've got He was on loan. We've got Alejandro or Alarando. Alarandro looks good, 21 years old. He's a striker, finishing first touch. That's what you want, right? Pace and strength of 12 though, it means he's kind of neither here nor there. He's only 5 foot 11, head in 13. So he's kind of trying to be a jack of all trades, but a master of none. Complete forward. You can see that he's, he's trying to be a complete forward, but in trying to do everything, he's actually accomplishing, accomplishing nothing really for me. But he's got decent finishing and first touch. He's only 21, so let's give him a chance. And then we've got Thomas Quelo, but he's actually on loan from ATL Tuchman. Dribbling 14, long shots 14, off the ball 14, determination 19. This guy's good. Flair 14 and acceleration 15. The finances here in the Brazilian arm of the Red Bull franchise, 2,748,000 in the transfer kitty, which is pretty decent, right? Could be an exciting save. I would definitely get the real name fix. I've got a video coming up about that in a couple of days. Sorted and get your badges and everything sorted, like your logo packs, get them in. This would be pretty sick. Then we got the most famous of the lot, right? RB Leipzig. Founded in 2009, I think, after Red Bull bought the playing rights to the fifth tier SSV Markenstraat. I think that's correct. They set a clear vision of playing in the first tier of German football within eight seasons. And look at this rise, right? First year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, sixth year, seventh year, and they finished second in the Bundesliga in the seventh year, only founded in 2009. Huge, huge success here at Leipzig. I'm really interested to get into the squad, have a look at some of these young players that they've got here, because I'm sure there's going to be some beasts. Okay, so sorted by ability, straight away we've got Danny Olmo, okay, he's a world-class, world-renowned player. I think he was a wonder kid last year in the game, or maybe the year before. 23 years old, dribbling, first touch, technique he's a spanish international you can see there's 16 caps and three goals teamwork vision flair he's a sexy sexy player not in that way i just mean he's like look at those attributes then we got emil forsberg again coming to prominence really for me at least in the euros for that swedish team he was literally doing bits, wouldn't he? But he's 29 years old, so I don't know where he's been all my life. Corners, 16. Dribbling, 16. Fin first touch, 15. He's really, really good, isn't he? Look at that mentals as well. Composure, 14. Decisions, 14. Determination, 14. Flair, 14 as well. Natural fitness, acceleration. He's got it all. 22 million as well, he's worth. When you sort by potential, though, it gets really saucy. Mariba. Look at this guy. 18 years old. And look at the stats on this guy for 18 years old. Technique 16, passing 14, long shots 14, first touch 15, dribbling 14. He's 18. He's 18. Contracted RB Leipzig. He's with 77 to 93 million. I wonder how much Leipzig paid for this guy. Let's have a look at his history. 16 million they paid for him. 
16 million. This guy is, he's got insane numbers. Next one down is a Hungarian player, Dominic Soblasi. <laughs> got that terribly wrong, haven't I? Corners, free kick taken, penalty taken, passing, off the ball, a really, really promising attacking player. Look at these stats here. Teamwork, vision and work rate, all 14. Imagine if they all go up to 16. Imagine how good this guy is going to look if all those stat 14s go up to 16. I mean, he's going to look really, 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 really good. Ahmed Simakan then, going back to kind of the defensive players that we saw at the start of the video. Tackling 15, marking 14, heading 13, determination 16. A decent all the way across the mental, the physicals as well. Finishing off with Gvardiol, right? 19 year old Croatian right back or centre back, however you want to look at it. Sorry, left back or centre back, however you want to look at it. Tackling, marking, heading, teamwork, determination 17, bravery 17, aggression 16. He's six foot one. He's good. He's good. And he's 19. 19. When we look into the under 19s here at Leipzig as well, we can see a 16 year old here who's going to be amazing. Ray Bigger, okay, Ray Bigger, Ra Bigger. First touch, passing technique, all 14 already. Vision 14, decisions 14, acceleration 14, pace 14. I mean, he's he's going to be good, right? Looking at the finances, you'll have 17 million to spend. And listen, this team doesn't mess about, right? Leipzig, they want to win the Bundesliga. Second, second isn't good enough for this Austrian energy drinks company. They want to win that Bundesliga. And it's definitely doable with this team. With players like Mariba coming through the ranks and players in your team like Forsberg and Danny Olmo, you've got a chance, right? You can look how good these look how good this team is. If I go into the squad depth report, for example. A 4-4-2 would provide this kind of depth, right? So that's it. It's been interesting looking at the kind of Red Bull innovative business model in terms of intercontinental football teams all networked together. Some really cool teams that you might want to go away and manage. Do let us know in the comments below if you have chosen or are going to choose to manage any of these teams. Do hit a like on the video if you haven't already. Hit subscribe if you are new and we'll see you again.